Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3. We are playing with the Bronze Age Total Conversion mod. And where I have time slipped by quite a bit because, well, I was thinking about what we should do and uh, all I did in the meantime was making sure that our holdings became better and better and better. The development here is becoming the envy of the Bronze Age, I am sure. There's still a lot of things that we can do though. But more importantly, I've come back to you with, well, the excellent idea of what it is that is our end goal. And it is a lofty one. And it is threefold. You see, as I've said in previous series, Greece is sometimes known as the Hellenic State, which of course is a reference to this proto-Hellenic culture. But we are removing this proto-Hellenic culture. It is all friggin' over here. So why not let us remove the entire proto-Hellenic culture? The only thing that we need to do for that is, well, this war here is defending against the king in the Lefkas Cavalian subjugation war. So I believe that if she loses, he will subjugate her, meaning that this island will be ours. Perfect. That means that all of the proto-Hellenic culture is ours. On top of that, of course, the faith is called proto-Hellenic. That won't do. It's proto-Phrygian, of course. I mean, come on. This is not per not right. So we're going to have to reform the faith, take out the proto-Hellenic culture, and make sure that we are a culture to be remembered. Throughout the ages, the Bronze Age, if you go, for instance, to a museum in Athens, you would learn that a lot of uh, the Bronze Age um, more developed cultures were around this area and you can actually see that in this mod with the development being very high in this area it was mainly on the Aegean islands of course it was also in Egypt but that you won't find in an, uh, um, the museum of Athens because it's about Greece culture but yeah and uh, of course we know for instance of Iraq being very well developed in that time but uh, I don't know why this one is so well developed hour but it is anyways that is something we're going to have to change we're going to make them understand that we were not the barbarians, no, we were the great culture, and we had the religion, and for that, well, there's only one thing to do. We cannot be known as some tribal barbarians, we have to reform everything over here into urban holdings. So all the provinces with a Phrygian culture need to be urbanized. We need to have no more proto-Hellenic on the map, either in culture or in faith. Those are the things that we want to do. So I think it is high time that we start working on that. And one of those things is, by doing that, is if a development of a province is near a development province that is lower, you get a bonus from neighbors. Now that is something that's going to help, which means we need to... The fact that I've urbanized this area behind over here is very, very good because it will help neighboring provinces because the other provinces next door are well developed. Only here it's only a 0 0.1, which I don't really understand. Oh, it's because this one hasn't grown very yet, well yet, but it is growing. So that is a good thing to do. And then for that, I am going to do something that's a little dumb, perhaps. That is, I want to talk to this guy. I want to revoke his title because... I have a claim to this. I can revoke this without being seen as a tyrant, and there's a 76% chance that he might accept. So let's see if that will work or not. Uh, no, he did not. So we have a little bit of an internal war. And I will use my own money to upgrade this, because I can't upgrade it if it's not mine. I know, it's a little weird. It's something in CK2 that you could do if you want to help out your vassal. You could upgrade their holdings for them. Which, you know, I kind of get because it's your realm that you are helping and your vassal would only gain bonus from it if you develop it for them so the fact that you can't is just a little bit like i don't know why they removed that function but they have so we're gonna go and attack with now 30,000 men we, we will drop a few once it is needed but uh, i don't want to wait until the whole forces and where are built up where he still could build up here. We caught him right on time. He also apparently hired some mercenaries. That is fine. This is this is all fine in a way that I would still win the war. It is a shame though that he does it. And there is another thing that I am working on, but I will get back to that in a moment. Because he didn't need to do that per se. Why didn't he need to do that? 
because I just want to help him. I would give. I'm gonna give back the county that I'm taking immediately back. I just want him to have a city holding there. Oh, um, so that he will develop that, so that that county will develop. That's all I want to do. But all right, apparently it's a big war now because I can't really stop him. It's it's just a shame that this uh, that that works out this way. But we'll just have to go through it. Now, in order to uh, well consider us uh, reforming the faith, I've actually moved away from my stewardship because with my second wife, actually my third, and I will get to that in a moment, I can hold all the counties I want without needing to have a focus in stewardship. She has 22, she is great. And I talk to you about being my third wife because as you can see, I have a ton of children nowadays. Be and this one is of my third wife, who cheated on me, uh, with this guy who instantly died afterwards. I wanted to take him down, but he died from his wounds, unfortunately. So, uh, no revenge story there. I was recording, and then he just upped and died. So, he took away that particular chance for having us a cool revenge story. Anyways, uh, yeah, may you go strong and wise. Because we want to also change the faith, I thought it was high time that this guy had changed back to his religious roots. And we're going down into profit. Because if we want to change the religion, certainly with the amount of faith that we have, we really need profit. So that is why we have changed up the focus over there. Uh, and as you can also see, I nowadays have all concubines who are all lovers of me. It's just a thing that this guy now does, okay? Deal with it, so to speak. You're going to attack into those 2,000 men with your 900. Um... Uh, I don't really know why the AI does that nowadays. It is a battle they will not win. That is a guarantee. And it just slows down my, my sieging, so it's just, it's annoying. Oh, you're trying to seduce somebody in within my court. I'm just gonna imprison you. Oh, that's tyranny. Oh, that doesn't give me a thing to do that. By the way, my son got a lover's box. Luckily, despite this being an, an inheritable trait, it does not... Uh, limit you from strengthening the bloodline. Though now I'm almost wondering, like, maybe I should have gone with my first son because he became a theologian, so he could change the faith as well, by the way. We're not going to do so, but he could do so. Uh, and he has... Uh, he is not a sinner like my other son. He's a gosh darn sinner. So that is funny. Oh, we captured him. Uh, I'm going to ransom you, actually. Good. That 100 gold will help me uh, for the incredible amount of gold that I'm spending on you. Taught me so much. There we go. We were translating a book, helping us a lot. Get faithful. Get to profit. We are going to change the religion. And what are we going to change the religion into? Well, I actually had another concubine, but you missed it entirely because she died rather quickly. Uh, which was the head of our faith. But... Uh, then she died, and I got this guy, who is a four with all kinds of bad traits. I don't want that anymore for our faith. Our faith is starting to hurt by people making such horrible, horrible decisions. So I don't want those guys around anymore, so we're going to do the age-old thing, which yeah, I'm sorry to say it's just the best thing to do. Oh, it's his heir. Uh, his heir is worth how much? Also 100 gold. I will do that, sorry. I know it will win me the war, but I don't need it. Um, I'm already winning now. I'm on in the positive even with that done. Uh, so no m more such a big issue. But yeah, it's it's a little... Uh, uh, how shall I put it? Mm, Off-putting. Mm, it's not the right word. It's a little shame that I have to do it the way I have to do it. Um, what did I capture? Three people. I captured your concubi concubine. That's not that great. I mean, he's losing money so much that the next thing I would not have taken away from him, like I wouldn't have... Uh, fickle. No! No, 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 no. You're going to go for content again. Let's... Can you have another trait, please? Air of the air. I'm also going to teach you. Who is the air of the air? Of the air of my first son. 
But, uh, yeah, we, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. oh, he didn't have the money. Oh, well, neither does he, but fine, I'm, I'm just going to do this. Now he's going to have even less money. There it is. Fine, everything done. Oh, I'm not increasing opinion and the like. All right. Does this destroy his control? Yes, as well. That's unfortunate. No, you do not. You do not raise your neighbor's lands. I am now fighting another vassal. <laughs> oh wait, that's because he 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 want to raid other lands within our territory. Well, whatever, it's fine. I'm going to stop him from doing that. A uh, garden stag. I've never seen this one before. My hunters captured this lion stag and its grace and majesty remind me of you. Please accept it as a token of our everlasting friendship. Our impromptu venison fest. Oh, let it roam the garden, I would say. Sure. A little bit less of stress gain, that's very good. Uh, but yeah, I'm also building up the, ho uh, the holdings here, trying to make sure that we uh, gain additional development over here. Uh, so that it can if my counties get quickly developed... It will help with the neighbors. Now, this county stands all on its own, as is my capital, because they don't really border anything, but yeah, still. Uh, wait a second, I should not do that one. I should make use of here. I actually have paid for Carpet of Stone Masons, so let's build that. Still, I have enough for... Oh. You're starting to siege over there. All right, well, let's speed it up over here. This war is mine. Nothing else for it, no problem. I'm suffering super attrition, apparently. And... People are still being extremely unfaithful to one another. Because that is a thing. Let's befriend you. There it is, 100% war. Thank you. In false demands. So be it. Uh, we're going to stand down the armies. This band all. Now that's part of my terrain again, that's not a problem. Uh, first of all, I can revoke poison. I have a claim on it, nobody will mind. Just so. Now I can tell... Now that it's mine, thank you, to urbanize. Ta-da! Your capital is arrested. Now I think I can also revoke that at the moment. Yep, be uh, no, this is considered tyranny. That is weird, because he also fought against me. But let me grant you the land the title back of this territory, which is now going to develop much faster, and hopefully thereby get everything done. You're going to ransom yourself for 100 gold again. Uh, we need a spy master, apparently. No, a steward, sorry. So you are fine enough at 17. Yeah, you can ransom her as well. That's fine. Dismiss. And uh, you I will need to befriend again after this one. Hopefully I will remind myself of that. But yeah, having a additional city-state... Oh, government. Over here. Oh, it's still considered urban. Because he is urban. Darn it, I did make it a... No, wait, what? He re reverted it back to a, a tribe? No, city. Thank you. I was almost wondering... Title is the tribe of Osna, but it is a city. Holding type is city. Oh, that is just annoying. I should have revoked his capital, apparently. For having uh, betrayed me, I should have revoked his capital. And then I should have... Uh, taken uh, my, my claim. I reckon. Should have done that way. Uh, you can marry... This is so many... Uh, I, I hate that this is all... Ooh, pretty free. Yeah, but you already have daughters and things. You don't at the age of 19, though. Sure. That's not going to be well for our, our, our family line, but otherwise it's going to give our line a new holding. Uh... What did he do? 
My Spider-Man has come to my grave. It's my vassal king has fallen against my son-in-law. So you... But it doesn't give me an imprison thing. Groom to rule. Hitting so many children. Um... I have more important th things to attend to. I'm sorry, my friends, because you've been amazing. Architectural endeavors. Not a stewardship bonus. For my wife, that's amazing. No. Ah, there you go. Just having him die. Make sure that I have no stress whatsoever. That is a better one. Gregarious. Yes, it never hurts to make friends. I did tell my other son that I could mm, teach his son, right? Oh. You. You. I am your steward, right? Yeah. So hopefully we can uh, make something happen there. Alexandros, goodbye. Ooh. Perhaps I should have let your father do it. Because he has four, and now you have three. I don't have any good marriage candidates for you, so... What did you call my daughter? You... I should look into a hus uh, a wife for him. Which could be my other granddaughter, but... <laughs> yeah. The incestual line is getting a little bit problematic. And again, of course, we have taken out every familial trait in order to prevent problems. And yeah, that is apparently the only good candidate. C uh, could I sort of by age a little bit, please? Thank you. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, by far the only one that's good. Even if it's not su superb, but... Genius is guaranteed. Oh. Uh. And everything else is what is good and what has decent traits is still family. Oh boy, howdy. Yep, well, that is a problem. Alright, this is not a mm, smart decision, but it's just something that's gonna have to happen. We're closer than ever. Excellent. Don't think that means that I made a friend out of him, but... Sway, let them do that first. Dude, you should be happy that I gave you a city-state. I pumped 500 gold into your holdings. And you are angry with me. It just feels very inappropriate. I know the way that I did it was weird, but it's because, unlike in CK2, I cannot tell them, like, I just want to upgrade your holding. Maybe he's annoyed because, of course, it's now a city and not a tribe, so actually he doesn't benefit from it as much. But it feels weird. Uh, no, I have more important things to do. Thank you very much, though. We will stop this villain. But yeah, this is a uh, weird line. Hopefully this will go well. Genius is at least guaranteed, but otherwise, oof. And they have Lover Spocks now, both of them. He may have given it to his wife. Luckily, it doesn't prevent you from consecrating the bloodline. Or, I mean, um, strengthening the bloodline. I don't have an alliance with my own son. I didn't even realize that. But yeah, all his other children are apparently not as good as his first few children. I can't give him any marriage proposal. Uh, no, I think I can... can I can do that 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 chain of events. There are a few things I can try and help him with. Uh, uh, and hopefully that will improve. There is 83% chance I am successful, for instance. There's a stewardship challenge. 89% and yeah, I have a lot of things that I'm good at. So hopefully I can help him out. Things are looking good. Let's try another one. Things are looking good. Let's see if there's even more things I can help with. And he thanks me now. So let's see what happens. It should be a very good stay. 20 opinion boost. Just for having visited and having a few challenges. If you do those challenges in the wrong way though, it could backfire on you incredibly. We've seen that also in a previous series. There you go. You're starting to get swayed. That is very good. Uh, you want to see another council. Yeah, but you don't have any good stats, so I can't really do that. I'll try to befriend you the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I will negotiate an alliance with you. Why not? Oh, I gain obese. 
I thought I was trying to lose weight. No, I am trying to lose weight. Oh, oh core hunt then. Let's see what we can do. Uh, we ride. Uh, she, I will give her a chance to recover. I lost obese. A good kill. We return homewards. I always go hunting. It doesn't really help you actually with losing weight, I believe, but it's just something I do for, uh, you know, trying to get. It makes me feel like I'm outdoors, so I should lose weight. Oh, what's ho ho? What's happening over here? Can't see that. I need to look at this. Oh, he knows of my murder secret. Everybody knows of my murder secret. Fine, I will. Bl you will blackmail you. You will blackmail me. You are so bad. I oh, I don't want you on the council. You're not good. I inherited what now? Oh. Didn't know I would inherit the title. Now we have both cities over here. But this city only has... Three slots instead of... Hmm. I think for now... I should give this away. Grant to low noble. Oh, I should have given it to perhaps to a family member so that they can expand a little bit. But every other, everything else is fine. Oh, somebody can marry. Look, can we do something else that's not Phrygian? There you go, that's not Phrygian. I can imprison this elder. Doesn't really matter to me. This king has died, alright. Uh, let's try and befriend you. So let's stop with this. And befriend, oh, befriend you. So that is a 100% success chance, and it's a 100% swing around of what has happening. Uh, my player error. Can you get bonuses when you're on the council? I don't know. I don't think so. Let's put my daughter in there. Uh, more points and things to tend to. Sorry. I have so much gold. So much gold. Gold, but there's not a lot of things I can do with it. But I will get myself some fancy walls there. And after that, we need to start considering if we can start building those guys of things. Build you to full, and everything here is being built already. Then we need to look in the back here, there, and then we'll go to our guy over here in order to build that as well. That's the biggest development boost I can give in the back, which is more important because that would should spread to the rest. I really hope you can switch to a city-state pretty quickly, but you, you might not. Though you are now getting some development over here. Uh, he gets a weak claim on me. I don't mind that. A weak claim on somebody that is a religious head doesn't really matter that much. Religious icon. The time to convert the province is no longer increased if that fate is higher. Well, that's not even a problem. My culture has discovered city states. That... Ooh, nice little break. I didn't realize I had so much stress. That is something that we have tried to reach so long. And we are now known far and wide. Well known, even. Does that make us more known than the 10th dynasty? Which I constantly see a little bit as my rival. The KT. Yeah, we have gone beyond that. So we are starting to become very relevant for history. Um, the Argent Dynasty. I saw something that also triggered that I could click on. I could click a button and then I forgot. This is my daughter. My daughter is for stewardship. That is not a very good stewardship person. This one is. Let's give my children a little bit of thing. You are for learning. Learning, 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 learning. There you go. And then this daughter, who is also into learning, so. 
Guess the other learning person isn't available anymore. Scroll down. A lot of diplomacy. No, you're gonna no, not the heir. He's gonna get stressed out like a mother. Well, uh, Kingdom of Aetolia. What now? Hold on a second, who is the... How did you manage to do that when this guy is bigger? How in the... What? That confused me, that because this guy is bigger and holds most of the territory. How did you have enough provinces for this? But all right, uh, this guy beneath you, you don't want to hurt me too much, Grand Vassal. There you go. No, I said gr you, Grand Vassal, this one. Now we have a very powerful vassal down here. Aetolia. Holy moly. I get a truce with him? What? A little confused, but this is a very big vassal. Very big vassal. Luckily, I, uh, he's trying to get parts of Thessaly in to go into me, but Thessaly will go into my realm quicker than that, but then again it would be taken out of it, because it's in his kingdom. Oh, that is weird. Uh, but as soon as we have this, uh, Aetolia will go into us, and I'm not sure what that would cause for trouble, but that is just weird. Okay, but we have a new king. They are friggin' there, are proto -Alenic. they did capture this, I need to tell this boy... Offer guardianship by me to convert culture, and he is willing to accept. All right, you are important. Uh, I will not give him a favor. I will slow it down by three. Unorthodox. Stop. Oh, centralized irrigation is now the innovation. Uh, estates and shrines. I don't think I mind that. But then again, it's another one of those very slow things. What does city planning do? Counties development decay now starts at 10 development. We may want to do that. Limited crown authority. Titles can be revoked. So where can be revoked. Uh, causes ballet prestige costs. Fabricate claim on county is incredibly increased. Is your kingdom causes ballet? Scribal school. Unlocks early bronze agriculture buildings. Yeah, but that might also be good. Poof. Tribal vassals. Yeah, but we're trying to remove those. Uh, this will probably head first before we have removed all of them, but still. Mm. Let's just do this because we do want indeed want to get some building done because I can't build anything over here. Because I don't have that particular technology. But hey, we've got city-states. That is very, very good. She can marry. Because this guy died from a seizure. Okay. Oh. Matrilineal will be even be accepted. Sure. I have no idea who you are, actually. Oh, you're a vassal beneath a vassal. That's fine. Uh, can change his contract? Why? Not sure. Don't think I should. Would not help. Probably getting a favor some way or another. Such a pleasant man! Uh, he and I became friends! Here! Stop being pissy over the thing that I've done! We are friends! I helped you out. You have given this the state away. You didn't want it because it was now no longer a tribal state, so you've weakened yourself. I tried to help you out, man. Well, nonetheless, that, that should mean, though, in government forms, yes, that this is urban. So, hopefully this will 
help with the development in this area. I was trying to spread it. It's not the best county because it only borders these three. Because there's a lot of mountains in between. But it is a city. Somewhere in the middle of an area that is... Well, not that much controlled around the area. Oh dear lord, you have a interesting face. Let's put it that way. Because your father was homely, but this looks worse than homely, I must admit. Y You're not considered homely, despite having that face. Hmm. I've got other things to matter to intend to. That impotent fiend! You're trying to be annoying. You're trying to now seduce my daughter. Now you're now you're trying to seduce my cousin over here. That's a great, great combo. Let's hope that you two do better. Uh, oh, so I'm almost want to take away his disinheritance. Because this boy isn't half bad either. The heir of the heir, but... Somebody's plotting against my, 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 the same cousin. But then again, I don't want to do that because I've done that and you are, can immediately make the blood father. You could also do the blood. No, you can't because you actually have a congenital trait that begins, that is there from the beginning. Unlike this one. Oh boy. Um. We'll see what we can do. That is all I can say about that. How is our development? Well, it is 18 and still growing. I'm going to continue on with doing that. Uh, by the way, I did shows in the learning the scholarship focus so that we get even more learning. I will come back to you when I have profit. And uh, when I can change the faith, that is probably when I will come back to you. I hope you enjoyed the series. I hope you enjoy the set goals that we have for ourselves. It's definitely going to take a few episodes for that to be done. I am going to skip by a few of them though, because, well, otherwise it's going to be a lot of waiting. But for now, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.